Right everyone, um, <laughs> I've just made that one and what I'm going to do is I'm going to do it again. I'm using the Nottingham lace and I'm going to use, oh, about 14 inches. Not much. If I think it's too much, I'll stop it uh, and cut it off and we won't waste it because the end bits go in there uh, or scrappy bits go in the scrap flowers. And um, I just made these little things to go in the centres up front. And you're just folding them in half. So you're taking these, folding the so many in half, a little bit of glue around it and then twist it. And you make yourself a little uh, set of them to go in at the centre of flowers. You do burn yourself, but, well, if you're used to it like me, it doesn't burn your fingers. Unless it touches somewhere that doesn't normally touch. Right, so just going to start and stitch until I think I've got enough, which is for the base. And I'm going to pull it in together like that. Just do a running stitch. But these are what I call the basic flowers. You know. But uh, I'm going to be doing a new couture flower and I'm going to be using the um, new satin trims that uh, not trims it's fabric it's uh, 12 inches wide on a roll and we got several colors of it so just that i'll just say we've got um, pale pink um rose pink emerald green white lemon blue and turquoise so there's plenty of colors there you know and it's excellent quality fabric N nice and soft and easy to use because it's only 12 inches wide so you don't have all that messing about of cutting too much now yeah I think that'll do I don't need any more than that so that'll go into a scrap flower as you know I like making the scrap flowers um, I've got some awesome kits coming out and I have to show you these kits are going to have one of those in that you can play around with, cut apart and play around. And these are little crystals, beautiful little crystals. Um, so like I did the other day, yesterday was it, with the flower. Um, yeah, cut it up and used it in my project. So I'm going to put that in the kit. Oh, these are going back in the shop. These are the pumpkins. They've arrived. I've been waiting for them to come for ages and they've just arrived. So you'll there's no kits. We're not doing the kits again. But uh, although I might do a couple of kits and put them in the shop, you will be able to buy them on their own. Uh, and they're smaller ones as well. So I might do a set of three, like a family as well to sell. We'll see. I have to work out what I've got in regards to goods and then pop it on the shop. Right, so we shall chop that. Pull these two together. Don't pull it too tight. You don't want that. Pull your threads to the back. There's going to be some stamen in as well. And I did, I bought one. I wasn't sure of the colour, but I'm going to be doing a turquoise and blue kit. And that's the turquoise one. So watch out for them coming. And um, we've also got them in the cream. So that you can play around. And then I did manage to find that one. Awesome. Love it. And I have these. Um, somewhere I have a jaff with quite a few in. Do you remember when I got the gold ones last week? Um, I have sent for some more so that we can have them in the shop. These are the gold ones. So I'm going to share with you how you will be able to make something like that. Okay? Or like that. See? I'm going to show you. 
some different ones with oh let's have a look see what else we have now hang on yeah well there'll be loads that i'm going to share so what i might do is give you the whole kit for you to make one of those i'm waiting to get the wire in that's all you know the flexible wire that they use which is this one jewelry wire soon as it's in I will be doing the kits and you can have a go at making your own. I will take you through the process of how to do um, these sections. Because, they're look, they're very easy. It's a long piece of wire. You start with one and you twist it. Put your bead on, twist it. Get down so far, make another one, twist it. Really easy. You make several of those and then you can leave the long wire on so you can wrap them around or just make them to fit in with your projects. I'll take you through it. Don't worry about it. I know somebody will be going, oh, can't do that for you. Yes, you can. You can do anything you want if you know what you're doing. And our whole purpose of being here on YouTube is to share how to do things. You know, <laughs> it is better when you make them yourself. Um, it's the enjoyment of doing it. But... Um, how can you put it it's just the knowing you've done that and you've put it in your project if you can sit and make one of those you can start your own business off and start selling them so i'm waiting for lots of things to come in i've got lots of these centers and that but i'm waiting for everything to come in for you to do that and i'll be selling things as kits the thing is you can go buying them online some of them are not they they sound cheap oh, well they they look good, but they're cheap and they're breaking. So I can only tell you, I will search out the best product ever for you. Um, willingly. Because I want people to be able to learn how to do things and then go sell them. Make some money for yourselves. But don't forget, if you start a business, you've got to register it. Because if you get found out, the fine has just shot up. Well, we know why. Because <laughs> they want to do everybody and make sure there's nobody selling anything but them. But hey ho, I will still help you make a business. You know, show you how to make things to do your business. Right, so I've got this trim. I found this, oh, a couple of weeks ago. One, two, three, four, five. You just need the five petals. I'll put that one away. And then stitch this one. Same way. There is a right and a wrong way to it, folks. How will you know if you can't do it? That, you know, if you can do it, if you don't try, that's what I mean to say. And so I always encourage my subbies and my followers, give it a go. Give it a go. Get on with it. You can do it. I know you can. So I've, I've got a lot of uh, faith in my followers. I mean, I had a lady last week, right? Oh, I've been doing flowers. I've been trying to do all your flowers, Fee. I'm going through your videos. It'll take you a while because there's so many of them. But um, uh, they're not as good as yours, but I'm getting there. And I've just gone... It will show me some then. She sent me some pictures and I'm going, there's nothing wrong with them whatsoever. She actually was very, very good. And you know, go to your car boots, make some stuff up and go to your car boots and just, that'll give you confidence. If you don't want to, you know, like do it online or become a shop, because you do have to be careful if you're selling. You can only sell six of an item that you've made before they class you as a business of one night of one particular so if if you made those right and i made and you made a dozen and went to sell them if the authorities came along and said oh uh, right six or more is a business the crafty no they're crafty using the right word aren't I? look i've done that and not put that in that's i'm too busy talking but yeah so easy way solution to everything yeah they're um absolutely oh, they're just scandalous 
but you can make some money do different things half a dozen of each that's like you know start off like that half a dozen of each and then um there we go that's going through use your teeth <laughs> i do so um what i'm going to do is just to glue the inside of that now Oh, we'll do it around the edge. Now, lots of people can craft better than what they think. And, um, you know. I'm just pulling that through. That's got a few more in, probably. But I just love them. You know, they're there for people to play around with. See, I'll spread that out a bit more. So that looks more realistic. But yeah, and then all you do, chop that bit off the back. And you're done. Easy way for flowers, isn't it, really? Uh, now, I've got this to put in the shop. Um, this one. Isn't that beautiful? Absolutely stunning. And you, they're beaded, look. They're like little pearl seed beads and then the normal bead. And they're sequins. Absolutely gorgeous. So that one's going in the shop. Then I've got this large one. And they're like 3D flowers, you know, laid. And then you've got your pearls and that. So that one's going in the shop. Then I found this one and I absolutely love this. Wrong colour for me, but look at it. Those seed beads. And the thing is, when you get these, you can cut them all up individually. You know, and use it wherever you want them. Um, and then I found these in two colours. Um, I've, I've got them in. They're very similar to ones I've had before. But these have got more of a, um, what do they call it? More of a, it's corded. So that's pink and that's like a rose pink. That's quite heavy, that one. But they're nice. And you don't have to um, keep it as is. You can cut it all apart. Uh, and just tuck it in here, there and everywhere on your project. So we've got those. They're going in the shop. And I bought myself one of those, you know, the keyboard cleaner. Because my keyboard keeps getting filthy and I can't, with nails, you can't get into it. So I just bought a cleaner. Now we do have this back in the shop, like I said before. So run along and get that. And like I said, these are going to be on the shop shortly as well.